Hello, this is a video on how to use setup and features of the data logging software. So this is going to be with a 900 indicator. So what we're going to do, make sure that your actual load cell, what your scale is connected to, is actually connected. And you can make sure that this is screwed in. And then what you're going to do is set up the settings. So hold down the hold and print button. You'll see C01, so you can move left, make that one. You see a zero flashing, so make that into one. The count button, see the right arrow, move to the right. And you can just keep pressing the button to get C18. And we're going to make sure C18 is equal to three by pressing the zero button. This is important for data logging software in the C19. This is the baud rate. We're going to set 9600 or three. So press print. Now the settings are all set up, so it's zero. So now we actually need to connect the RS32, the DB9 connector, from DB9 to your USB. So I have my DB9 connector. See how I plug it in. And then plug the other end, which is USB, into your computer. Okay, so now you can press on the start button and you could actually click on like for example pictures documents and you could actually open up the file explorer and you open up the file explorer to where your file is located okay so now you have your file explorer open so for me it's on a usb drive but this could have been emailed to you either way click on it and just open the folder and you should open up the data log it'll be an application so you might get this error message when opening up a data logging software that should have been emailed to you or given to you on a flash drive and it would say the data log serial number and you could either email the email you see there the support s-u-p-p-o-r-t at optimascale.com or you could also email paul p-a-u-l at optimascale.com same spelling is o-p-t-i-m-a scale s-c-a-l-e dot com and give them the serial number and then you could get it activated once activated you don't have to type in that number again it's activated forever but this will be, happen only the first time you boot into it after that everything will be fine so after that we'll show you what the next steps are all right so you're now on your desktop and you should have the data logging software so to check which port is it on you can actually right click on the windows 10 button and go on device manager uh, another option you can just go to search bar and put device manager and you open up this window and you should be able to click on ports and mine is currently ports port 6 or com 6 how to check you could actually remove the USB cable from your PC the indicator does not have to be on for this but unplug the USB and you notice how I only have COM1 and COM3 but when I plug in my DB9 to USB cable to my desktop or laptop then COM6 appears so now I know my OP900 is on COM6 now you open the data logging software so now that you have data log software open and this is what you've been I already activated it. now you can see the different features so what you're gonna do is remember it's still plugged in turn on your OP 900 for me it's counting down remember the C18 C19 settings were already set so now what I could do is actually connect to it. This has an auto connect in this one. So it'll scan all the ports and connect to the proper one. If not, and your version of the software has says COM one, two, three, whatever. Remember before we checked which COM port it was for me, you'll see right now it's COM six. So if yours was COM one or COM two, you input that number and it could connect and it should say connected. And that's the very important part. So now, if connected properly, it will stay green, stay connected. And if you have any issues with 
staying connected, let's say it connects and disconnects, then it could be your C18, C19 setting or just message back the Paul email and then you probably get back to you and tell you maybe it's the version, uh, maybe it's something wrong with your computer or whatever it is. But anyways, you'll notice now since it's connected, I can now actually increase the weight, add weight to it. And you can see how my indicator actually responds. So on my indicator 900 says 6,056 pounds. And right here it says 6,056 pounds in gross mode. And actually what I could do is actually press the zero button. And you see, well you won't see it on the screen recording, but it, another pop-up menu will appear and says you are permanently zeroing the, the scale. Process cannot be reversed. Would you like to continue? So once I click on zero, it will actually zero out not just the program, but also the indicator. When I click on it, my indicator actually went back to zero. And same thing here. So this actually will zero out the indicator itself. And I could increase, add more weight to it again. And you'll see it went to 6,046. And I could press the unit button, currently set to pounds. But when I press it, it changes it to kilograms so you have two options in kilograms or in pounds so this is what mine will be in kilograms I can go back to pounds and that's how I'm able to change the units tear with the same it will just save whatever zero it out on there and then this will just give you the gross weight so now you can see this bottom section here for the actual data logging so what I could do is click on select create a file so what you need to do is somewhere on your desktop or in your folder you're actually going to create a text file you won't see it on the recording but I have an example I created a text file on my desktop okay so you can see I'm back on my desktop and I'm actually going to minimize the folder. So what I'm going to do is right click, create on new, and then create a text file. So in this case, I'm going to call it my test text file. So when I open it, it's just going to be empty and open up in notepad. But this is what I'm actually going to be using for my test for my program. So you're going to go back into your program. So mine was already connected. So, so you click on select create file and you see another menu pop up so what I could do is click on the Optima or whatever your computer name is and you could just search for wherever you saved the text file at so I saved it on desktop I click on it and then there's my test.txt so I'm actually gonna open it up so now I have my weight of 6045 46 what I could do is click on the log button and you'll see on the date, time, gross weight, net weight, pounds, all that shows up here. That's good. And then when I click on the save button, the file has been saved. So now when I click on the test file, you can see the ticket number, the date, the time, the weight, how much tear it was in pounds and all the other information. So you can just keep logging, let's say I added more weight, I want to log this weight. So now section se second section pops up, you see the proper weight, and then just make sure to save it. And that's how you log all the features. And then the last thing which would be print, if you connected a printer, just for example, only 900 will have only one DB9 connector. So you actually connect your printer to the computer itself and it will go through the software so then you just click print and then it will print to your ticket printer or zebra printer whatever printer you set it up with once you click print it will show whatever weight it is and then print the normal date time and weight and that's kind of it that's all the features that we have on our data logging software